Hi, in this session I'll show you how to create a 3D image from a photo. Now what I mean by 3D image is an image that is almost 3D like where it pops up or it floats on top of a frame. So better to give you an example. So let's say that we have the strawberry here and we want to kind of have it float out or pop out and kind of reach out in 3D like this. Or if we have something like this, 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 this set of blocks have it kind of float outside of its frame. Or if you want to look at an animal, like a giraffe here, it kind of floats outside. Maybe this frame is kind of tilted. So I'll show you two examples of how to do this. I'm going to use the blocks, and I'll do one with this giraffe. I'll show the example of this giraffe where you'll kind of have it pop out or float on top of a frame and also tilt it. Now some things to keep in mind, there's some guidelines to do this. When you want to do this on an image, the first thing you got to think about is selecting an image that has good contrast, like the math blocks here. And there aren't too many objects in the background, like the city. See the city, there's a lot of objects, there's also a lot of different colors that kind of blend into each other. It's a little more difficult to take out some colors there. The second thing to think about is when you want to select the image that pops out, you want to select the part of the image that is whole. For example, you don't want to select the bottom part of this giraffe where the legs are kind of just cut off. That's not a, an effective part of the image to pop out. It's better to select the part of the image or the part of the object here that which is whole, which is the head of this giraffe. So let's go into showing how you would do this. Let me go ahead and get out of this slideshow view. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to get into slide sorter view so I, I can copy some of the photos. So I'm going to take this image, I'm going to do a control D to duplicate, and I'm just going to bring it down to the bottom here so I don't have to move it later on. And this one, I'm going to control D to duplicate and bring it down here. So these two images I'm going to work on. So first this image, I'm going to bring it back into the normal view. I'm just going to select this slide, and I'm in the slide navigation here. I'm going to press control D it's going to duplicate this slide. I'm going to keep this, this image here and I'm going to work on this image here in slide 10. So what I want to do is I want to crop this image. So the part that I want to pop out is this bottom part here. So what I'm going to do is make sure the image is selected. You can see that there are handles here. Go under the picture tools contextual ribbon and click on format and go ahead and select the crop drop down arrow part. So I can either crop it with the guides that it's going to show me or I can crop it with a shape but I'm going to go ahead and just use cropping with the guides that it sh it's going to give me. When I click on that it's going to give you these guides to crop it. You can either crop it inward from the right or left or top and bottom. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and crop it and keep the image that I do I want I do not want to be floating. So basically I'm going to keep this part, this half of it. This is the part where I do not want to be floating. This is going to be the part, the bottom part, that's going to float outside of the picture. So I'm going to take that part out and keep the part of the image that is not floating or not popping out. So once I selected that, I can just click on uh, crop again. It's going to crop it right now. And so I'm going to take the other image here. It's always a good idea to, to make two copies of an image so you can play with one and copy and paste it. So I'm going to take this one and do a control C to copy and bring it down here and control V to paste. I'm going to bring this aside over here now. And what I want to do is I want to get rid of the excess color here, this blue color. So at the bottom here it can look like it's popping out. So once the in image is selected I can go under format here and go click remove background. What's going to happen now, I'm going to get this background removal tab. I've got these handles here that let me select how much of the background color I'm going to remove. So I'm going to go move it around a couple couple times here and down here. Let's see what that does. And move it over here. And so what it does is when you keep moving around, what PowerPoint's going to do, it's going to try to calculate how much of this background it should remove. So I try to ha resize it as much as I can to have PowerPoint guess in terms of the color that it's going to remove. So this, look, this looks pretty good because out here, this leaf here, it kind of blends in. You see that it kind of blends in with the, the blue in the background, but kind of moving it around kind of made it guesstimate a little bit better. Uh, that one's not that good. Control Z to undo that. So I think this is good enough. I probably need to fine tune this part a little bit more. And if I wanted to do that, I can just increase the the 
the view, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take area, this particular command, I'm just going to click that, and I'm going to finely tune these parts. You know, maybe, maybe I don't need the blue there, I don't need the blue there, maybe I have to increase it a little bit more, zoom in a little bit more, maybe up to 200. So I don't want that there. That kind of took care of that. Eh, that's okay. And I don't want to take up too much, but I think this might be good enough. Let me go ahead and go back into the uh, normal view. I'm going to fit the slide into the view. That looks okay. Um, this is not perfect, but you know, if you had time, you can just probably go ahead and increase the view size, the zoom, and kind of fine tune it. I'm just going to go ahead and keep changes here. So what it's done now, it's taken up all the background. And what I can do now is I can move this into here. And you can see like PowerPoint's kind of nice. It, it provides these guides. These like you can see the horizontal guide there, and you can see this this vertical guide, this, these dotted lines. The, it kind of lets you put it into place a little nicer. So let me see if that worked out. No, let me go ahead and move this a little bit more. Or I can just use the arrow keys to kind of move it. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Use the arrow key to, to fine tune it a little bit. Let me press the control arrow to kind of fine tune it a little bit. Control arrow makes you, do, makes you move, enables you to move the image a little bit more finely. Let's see. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that's not bad. So what I can do now is I can just kind of group this, or I can just select that image. Let me group this image. Let me select that. Right click and select group. And let me go ahead and just center it, make it align. Went to the format, align center, maybe align middle. And let me go ahead and give this one a border. Let me see. Was this a nice border here? No. What happened was it gave the border for my group. So let me go ahead and ungroup this. Let me go ahead and ungroup that first. And what I want to do is I want to give the border to this smaller one. So let me select that. And right now, it's not it's selecting the whole thing because this is on top. So I'm going to bring this to the back. Let me go ahead and bring that to the back. And now I can select this. And this only this is selected now. So I can just click on maybe a border and then send this to the back. So it's kind of layered when you think about it. So it's like pieces of paper that are layered on top of each other, kind of like uh, transparent uh, plastic paper or plastic layered on top of each other with the image. So I'm going to bring this one to the back. Let me go ahead and right click and send to the back. And now you've got this image. You've got this frame here, kind of nicely frames it, and it looks like this particular strawberry is kind of popping out or floating on top of the image. So that's how you do it for this. And I can just go ahead and group this now. And then right select that, right click, group. And then whenever you want to move it around, you're moving it around as one object now. So that's it for the strawberry. How do we do this for the giraffe? And then tilt it. So pretty much the same concepts here. You want to go ahead, let me go ahead and uh, select this slide, Control D to duplicate, and work on the bottom slide here. So we, again, what we want to do is we want to crop the image. So I'm going to go under Format, go under Crop. So remember, we want to crop the part of the image that we do not want to float. So the one I want to float is the neck area. So the one I want do not want to float, I'm going to go ahead and crop and keep that part of it. So I'm going to keep this part of it and go ahead and select crop again. It's going to cut it out. I'm going to take this image, do a control, select it, control C to copy, bring it down here, control V to paste, move it off to the side here. And what I'm going to do now, do the same thing. I need to remove the background. So I'm going to go ahead and go into format, click remove background, and let's see where it takes us. Okay, so these guides show me that it's only going to remove, uh, it's going to move everything except this part. So let me go ahead and bring it up here and bring it over here. I want to keep the legs down there so it helps me move the picture into place later. Let's see if that selected it all. Uh, it, it's going to keep this color here, so I want to see if it's going to remove. The purple means that that's the part of the color that it's going to remove. No, let me go and move, move this one a little bit over here and see if it does. See, now, now remove that. I don't have to do mark areas to remove or mark areas to keep. Pretty much just adjusting some of these you may be able to remove as much, most of the background. And you can see that this has done it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that one and select Keep Changes. So what I can do now is I can probably move this into place here. And you can see it's kind of, let me go ahead and increase the, the view here. And it looks like it pretty much got it. Let me go ahead and 
we use the arrow keys to kind of move it maybe move that down a little bit maybe it's better that I look at the bottom part and it makes it a little easier yes so I'm gonna go and click on the top picture kinda of use my arrow keys to move it into place and use the control arrow to kinda of fine-tune it let's see what use the arrow keys the left arrow key and kinda of fine-tune that alright so we got most of it let me go back into uh, fitting this into the window now I've got this part and so I've, when I select it you can see that it selected that larger image so now what I want to do is I want to put a frame around part of the image so I, as we did with the strawberry earlier the the part that's not floating out we want to put a frame around so right now you can see if I click it anywhere in here it's click it selected the larger image so I'm gonna send that to the back right click and send that to the back and I want to work with the smaller image so I click here now the smaller image is in the front and I want to click the frame here and now with that done I want to move this smaller frame to the back so I'm gonna right click and send to back now it's got this nice view of this giraffe so what I want to do now if I wanted to do the to, to tilt it uh, let me group this first so it makes it easier when you just kinda of group it all group it and then move it so I'm gonna select that right click and then group it so now those two layers those two layers of images are grouped and you can move it as one object so I go under the I think it's drawing tools format no nope, picture tools format and now there's different ways that there's different preset picture styles you can choose from I mean I can choose I can choose the this one or I can choose that one actually that that kinda messed it up but what I want to do is I want to do go under picture effects and picture effects has some other ones where you don't there's not these predefined ones that mix and match uh, a bunch of these but I want to go to the 3D rotation one and I think the one that I selected was probably this one so this is off axis to left so once I selected that it's kind of made a nice little tilt you've got this 3D pop out or floating effect with the giraffe and it's all grouped in one picture now we can select it and we can just kind of move it around and wherever if we wanted to you can just move it around. I use my arrow keys to move around. Um, you can tilt it if you wanted to. Um, that looks kind of silly, but control Z to undo. But now you've got this image where it kind of pops out or it kind of floats out, and it's got that 3D effect, and you can use this in any other slides. So there you go. There's how to create a 3D pop-up or floating effect with your images. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.